All right, hello everybody. For time for another first play on launch day. This is a game, an indie game, an indie puzzle game uh, called Laser Maze. It looks pretty casual. I think casual probably needs to be down here as well. Let's find casual and add casual as a tag for this particular game because it definitely looks like a nice casual game. But this is a puzzle game that takes place in an abandoned space station where you solve puzzles by redirecting lasers, moving boxes around, and navigating through the computer terminals. So it is made by Yodasaurus Games. I've never heard of them. Comes in at $4.99. There is no discount right now. It's first week. And it just launched within the past hour. Now I typically like these kind of games, but we're going to see how much I like this one. And uh, check in the uh, developer here and the publisher. This is the only game they have. Uh, probably is uh, worthy of noting they do have a free demo available. It came out almost a year ago. So it looks like this developer has been working on this game quite a while. Uh, it does. If you look down here, it says there are 50 puzzles and 10 secret puzzles for those who want to challenge. So I want to go ahead and show you here, guys. This game, when you buy it, it is very nicely packed. It only comes in at 21 megabytes in file size. So super, super small. But it looks like it might be worth your money. We'll see how good this game is and take a look at probably at least a couple of the levels right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. So when we launch the game, this is what we get. No title screen, no welcome screen, no options, no start game, nothing like that. It just launches you right into the game. Um, a little bit disheartening to see the game just launch you right into the game, but maybe the developer will add that later. Maybe add, you know, a, a welcome screen uh, where you have options and a tutorial and all that. I don't know. but. Anyway, um, as long as the game's fun, that's really all I care about. In fact, if we hit escape right now, yeah, see, we can come in here and we can use WASD or the arrows to uh, either restart the level or adjust the volume, restart the game, or quit the game. All right, so essentially the same thing, I guess. So we're just going to go ahead and back out of that or move sideways. So we move the tank with our arrow keys or WASD. Um, the mouse controls this little beam of light, our targeting cursor, I guess. I have no idea what all this is. Probably doesn't mean anything. Alright, and if we move up, remember this is going to be a casual, you know, kind of a puzzle game, guys. So there's no race, there's no timer, there's no score. Uh, you know, no reason at all to rush through the game. So click while touching computer a, wait a minute, a com, com upter. Click while touching a com upter to use it. I think you want to spell that. I think you want to swap the P and the U there, Mr. Developer. Yeah, that looks kind of bad. But again, I don't care about that. I don't care about a couple of misspelled words as long as the game's fun and, you know, good puzzles. Uh, view com portal, left click, and we go into the com portal menu. Open Master Control Room. Two Taylor Perkins of the Providentia Central Head. This is two Taylor Perkins, the Central Head, from Shane Marino of Maintenance, November 12, 2086. Subject Master Control Room. And Shane is telling the Control Head, or the Central Head rather, what is inside the master control room? You are being so secretive about it that I can't help but wonder. And he got a reply from Mr. Taylor Perkins. There is nothing amazing. It is just a control room. I can remotely lock you in your quarters if you keep asking to go inside, though. <laughs> and Shane replies like, fine, fine, you win. Okay, so uh, the central head, Taylor Perkins, is being a little bit secretive about a control room, I guess. And the maintenance guy wanted to know what was in there, and he was shut down by the uh, Taylor Perkins, the central head. 
don't know how important that is that we know that, but uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and quit the COM portal and view online systems. What do we got here? One secure system detected. Open master control room door. And here we have a password, which I have no idea what it is. All right, so we're going to quit that and we're just going to go to shut down. Now, I shut down the computer, but I can access it again, right? Just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. That's how you get out of there. It's like exit, basically. Okay. So, we are this little tank here, and we can't shoot or anything. We are here to solve puzzles. Alright. Ooh. Toxic gas. Do we have to go around this, or can we walk into it? No, oh, no problem. Okay, so it's just just for looks okay and again I don't think there's any secret or code for our code in the, uh, the little uh, colored dots oh but we do have a new computer terminal here view com portal open notice this is to the Providentia maintenance network it's from Ella Baker in maintenance uh, March 12th, so this is a few months after the last message we read between the Taylor Perkins head controller or whatever and the maintenance guy. Uh, and from Ella to the maintenance network, uh, this computer A3 seems a bit faulty. Could you have somebody check it out? Thanks. Okay. And here we're going to go into view online systems. This is, looks like the important part of all these computers. Uh, one online system detected in sector. Toggle maintenance stores. Alright. Maintenance stores toggle. Back. Alright, so there we go. So we opened some kind of a door. Somewhere. Probably up here. Okay. Click while touching a switch to press it. Okay, that opens that door. Alright, another computer terminal. Viewcom portal. Open dispatch dot auto run. Let's check out the message first. Open, please respond. From the Providentia Maintenance Network to NASA headquarters. The same day, March 14th. Please respond. To anyone reading, we have lost all human contact with the station. All of the systems seem to be online, but none of our messages are getting responses. Please send a message back immediately. We have sent a script to this computer that will automatically be run. It will dispatch a maintenance robot to look for somebody. If nobody is found, it is to crash the station into the earth so that we can recover the data left on the station. Wow. Again, please respond immediately upon receiving this message. And of course, there's no way for us to respond. I think we're a robot. And uh, let's open the dispatch auto run. What is that? From Providentia Maintenance Network to NASA Headquarters, same day. Subject Dispatch Auto Run. Just a script. Okay. To turn the robot on or whatever. What they're talking about to search for the humans or whatever, I think. Okay, so we can go ahead and quit this. There's nothing here. Nothing here of importance to open any doors or anything. And we got a red button here. Yep, yeah, it's going to open the door. Okay. And can we press this? There we go. So now we can come down here, yep. Click a block by clicking while uh, touching. Okay. So if we're here, we can't pick up the box. If we're here, we still can't pick up the box. But if we're right here, suddenly we can pick up the box. It's just a left click and a left click to drop. Yep. Okay. Just learning the mechanics of the game, guys. So drop it right here. It's going to wait on that button, and then we can proceed through here. Another button that opens that door. We don't know what's up there. But, okay, this switch should open the door down there. There we go. It alternated, actually. Now we can pick this box up. We can't get through here, but we need to put this down. Come over here. There we go. And voila. Alright. And 
and now we get more green gas for no reason and another button to push I like pushing buttons there we go you gotta you gotta make sure your tank is actually touching the button or it won't work guys all right can I go through the laser or will I die here oh okay no problem I can pass through it no problem so that opened this door right here I do believe let's check I'm pretty sure that's what that did yep so this is what this game is is it's kind of a puzzle and a bunch of on off switches and lasers but at some point I'm sure we'll be using mirrors to try to reflect the laser into certain uh, buttons or whatever that we need to activate all right, what's up here? A door. And this door is gonna be activated by the laser hitting this red light, or this red activation button, or whatever it's called. Um, so if we push the button here, yep, there we go. Okay, we open this door. What are we missing to the left here though, anything? Nope, nothing. box that we can pick up and I'm gonna guess we block this particular one to open this door I'm gonna guess am I right boy I'm so smart I mean it had to be something like that I'm just kidding about me being smart I'm being a smart ass all right here I think we're gonna have to have a mirror or whatever and reflect the laser up into this thing and that'll open this door I think so we need a mirror aha now I'm smart. All right. Use a mouse while holding a reflector to rotate it. Okay, it's like pretty easy. I mean, you're controlling everything with a uh, mouse and keyboard, guys. A WASD or the arrow keys to move, whatever you prefer, and mouse to basically move the pointer. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there is no controller option for this game, at least right now. There's. N I tried using a controller and it didn't work, so keep that in mind. Press Q to look further. What? That doesn't really... Okay, Q is basically worthless. Okay. Alright, we can pick up this mirror here, or reflector, whatever you want to call it. We're going to reflect it over here. Like that. Boink. Should open that door. We can get another reflector. And what are we doing with this one? Reflecting it right into there to open this door. Okay. I got it, man. Door's open. Oops, not there. Uh, come on, it's so sensitive. There we go. Left click to place it. There we go. And we're moving onward. Another big room. Let's check out the room real quick. Okay. We need a laser coming on here but this thing's off this thing's off but we're gonna have to have the left one on to hit this to open this door in fact we might have to have both of them to open the door I'm not sure control room 2 control room 3 oh my god we're getting all kinds of complex now aren't we alright what is here though view com panel open election results do I care from Providencia personnel, from Taylor Perkins, Providencia uh, Central Head, December 25th, 2086, head election results. As a Central Head of Provincia, I am happy to announce the results of our 33rd annual election. I have been re-elected as head. Sure you have. You probably altered it. Huh. I'm very happy to serve again. Here are the other winners. Uh, sector 1 head, Sector 2, Sector 3, Sector 4, so five different sectors, there's the winners. Uh, as you know, the new heads will start on January 1st, 2087, congratulations. And that means absolutely nothing to me. Um, what I care about is this. Three online systems detected in this sector. Activate laser emitter 1, 2, and 3, and close. Alright, so... I can already see, guys. Look, you can already see what it's going to say. It says connection failed. Try activating from corresponding control room. To the right, I can already see what's going to happen if I click this. 
You can see it faded into the right. Yeah, see? So you don't even actually need to click this. You can see exactly what it's going to say to the right. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, I would fix that if I was the developers. Alright, so let's just go ahead and close that. We can't do anything there. Let's go ahead and go down here to control room one. A box and a button to put it on. Perfect. Open that door. And another box. This will open that door, but... Wait a minute. Yeah, we're gonna need... Okay, we're gonna need a box to get this open. Okay, so we need to come over here. Let's move this up here, and we'll maybe this button will... It's a two-way button for this door, I think. Bam. Yep, exactly. Get this. It should stay open. Yep. Okay. So, there is that. Now we can come up here and grab this. We don't care if this door closes right now, I don't think. Move this up here. Block that. And see, it opens this door. Okay. Bam. We need another box. Okay, we got a button here. What's this gonna do? Open this. Oh, wait a minute. oh we gotta touch it, remember? Yep. Okay. So now we can, we have this open because of that switch. We can now grab this box. It's not needed anymore. And we'll just take it over here and place it right here. Come down here. Another computer terminal. You all in systems. Activate laser emitter one. Successful. Hey, we're actually getting somewhere now. Woohoo. Shut down. Okay. Do I care about any of this stuff anymore? Probably not. I just need to get out of here. Okay. So we've done control room one. We figured out the puzzle there. We need, okay, so now, yep, we've, by doing that, this laser here is now going and hitting this, but we have at least one more that we need to, we need to turn this one on here from control room two, and that will probably open this door. We also have one over here. Okay, and here's the laser for control room three. So this is going to be, all three of these are going to be tied to this door, I bet. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get control room two figured out here. Okay, we got a door here, but no button, except right there. Okay. Alright, we're going to have to put this down here. Another one, we should be able to come in here. Wait a minute. Crap. Okay, we're gonna have to put something here to open this. Okay. So we can use this box, I feel like. Um, the door here. So confused. Oh my god, okay. So oh shit. Another computer terminal here. This might open one of the doors. Um if we get this off here, it's gonna close that door. Hmm. Can we put the block in the way here? So I can't close? Like that? No. Okay. We can't get through here unless. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused now, guys. So getting this and bringing it over here ain't going to help us to move this over here. It would be the same situation. Alright, what am I missing here? Hmm. I need 
you open up this door here. Oh, here's a button right here. Dirt. Okay, that opened that over there. Okay, there we go. Now we can come up here, and we can put this, like we said, right there. Then we can come down here, and we can grab this box here. Okay, and that's gonna close, but that's fine, because we can bring it through here. And we can use it right there. Now we can grab this one here. Okay. And we can place it where? What's this do? Okay, so we need two to open this door. Okay, boom. Boom. Crap. All right, missing something obvious here. Put this here for now. Come grab this one here. That'll close. We bring it through here, though. There we go. Drive this one here. Get this baby. Bring it here. There we go. Now we can activate the computer terminal. And what's here? This is just kind of a dialogue here. I mean, this stuff really doesn't matter, but if you want to read it, you can read this stuff. Uh, March 11th, 2087, from Taylor Perkins, the central head, to Ella Baker. Hi, hi Taylor, or from Ella Baker to Taylor. She says, hi Taylor, we're overdue for a bit of maintenance. We need to do a check of the filtration systems, and we need to replace the solar panels in sector one. Sorry to bother you. And a reply from Taylor Perkins was, Thanks for telling me. Caesar is going to start working on the solar panels in a day or so. I will find someone to do the filtration systems check. Okay. So we really don't care about that. What we want is right here. Uh, view online systems. Activate laser emitter 2. Successful. Okay. Now we can get out of this. Now we just need to get the hell out of here. We can do that by grabbing this box. Go in here. We need this other box to open the other door and get the hell out of here. Bam. Okay. Now we got the second laser activated, but door hasn't opened yet, so we need the third one here. Looks like maybe it's gonna come from right here. Yep and shoot over here, and that'll open the door. So we need to figure out the third puzzle here. Okay, pick this up, drop it here. Um, okay. Wait a minute. No other boxes or anything? Oh, here we go. Okay, so pick this box up, move it. Wait a minute, move the box up here, grab our reflector, throw it over here, move the box onto this button, bam. This is pretty fun, I mean, to think of, you would have to be a genius to come up with all this stuff. This is level one, guys. By the way, I believe this is still level one. All right, um, wait a minute shoot it into that. That opens that door. Okay, okay, and we can get another reflector. Excellent. Okay, wait a minute. What happened over here? Oh, okay, I thought I saw another enemy or something. I thought I saw something blue moving over here. What the hell? It's getting late. I'm seeing stuff, guys. Alright, we're gonna need a reflector right here somewhere, I think. We're gonna need that box over here, probably, to weigh that down. And then we're going to need to drag this reflector here. But, wait a minute. Let's move, for now, let's move this over here. Will this hold this door open while I get that box? Uh, yes. Okay. So now we can move the box over here and put it where I told you. On this button here. Yep. See how it activates that green light? And now... 
this probably needs to be activated to activate this red light, turn this green, and then when both of these are green, the door will open and we can get to this computer terminal and turn on the third laser in the main room. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Pretty easy level here. And let's uh, bring it up that way. And bring it there, yep. Open the door, we can get here. We should be able to, I mean, if you wanna read this, you can. Uh, to Taylor Perkins from Caesar. That was the maintenance guy. I finished the solar panel replacements and Taylor says, uh, great, would you mind doing a quick check on the filtration systems as Ella, or whatever her name was, asked him about. And Caesar Copeland says, all right, I'll get right around, to, I'll get around to it. All right, we don't care about that though. We care about this. Activate laser emitter three. Successful, back, quit. Shut down. All right, now, um, I guess let's grab that. I just need to get out of here now. Right, wait a minute. All we need to do is move this freaking mirror here. Our reflector, whatever it is, into here. And we're golden. We're out of here. Because I don't think it's going to let us take objects from one area to another. Yeah, all three lasers are now gone. Doors open now. It is. Okay. Bam. Now, see, the thing I'm confused about, I don't know if we've moved on to another level right now. I kind of feel like this is level two. Like, I feel we opened those three lasers up, and that was level one, and now we're on level two. I, I, my suggestion to the developer would be to put a number somewhere, and let you know what level you're on. I mean, even if it's up here on the right, you know, like a two, even just a white two or a white three or whatever level you're on. So you kind of have a re an idea of how far you've come. Right now, I don't really know how far I've come, unless this is all still level one. And in which place then, uh, you know, maybe it actually tells you once you be level one, maybe it'll say entering level two or something. Get big letters or something as it loads. I don't know. All right, so we got all kinds of crap here. Wow. Okay. I feel like we need this mirror somewhere else right now. Like, right. Oh, wait a minute. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Let's we'll weigh that down. Maintenance. Cool. Okay going on here all kinds of directions to go oh my god I'm so confused oh my god yeah like how do you how do you go about like designing a game like this without being like a rocket scientist seriously I mean you have to be smart to beat all these levels but imagine actually designing a game like this you have to be brilliant uh, com portal open fun room to the Providencia personnel from Iwin Hofstadter from uh, Providencia Sector 1 Head. Subject Fun Room, January 1st, New Year's of 2087. Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Now that I'm officially Sector 1 Head, I would like to make an announcement. I know that I will not be able to be as helpful as someone with more experience uh, on the station could. As a sort of apology for my future unhelpfulness, I will be opening a fun room. The fun room will be uh, at the front of the Sector 1. You can do whatever you want in there. Build something crazy. Just try not to blow anything up, huh? And a reply from Austin says, That's an awesome idea. I doubt the station will even last four months with Shane in there, in there though. And Eleanor says, When will it open? I can hardly wait. And I would respond, Hopefully by tomorrow. And Christine says, How could I not have thought of that? Okay. Really kind of meaningless. What we want, oops. Oh, that's uh, that's it. There's nothing of importance there really, unless you're just looking for that dialogue. All right. There's so many buttons and so many lasers. We got blue ones now as well. 
So things have gotten more complicated. That's why I say this, that this has to be, like, level 2 at least. I would think. Alright, so sector 1, sector 2. Maintenance is that way. Okay, here we got a laser here. And we got another computer terminal. Is this one actually going to give us anything? Hi, everyone. From Candace Farmer in Engineering. Hi, everyone. My name is Candace. I just arrived today. I'll be working on engineering in Sector 2. It's so nice to meet all of you. Taylor responds. Nice to meet you, Candace. Christine says, Hi, Candace. I'm looking forward to working with you. And Shane says, Hello. Hi, Amiga. All right, so... We're gonna go back here. This is what we want here. Open door one. Open. Great. Okay, so door one is open right here. Open. So here we can come in here and press this button. Shoots a laser. Oh shit. And we get two lasers. And we need to focus these things into this guy. Can I do anything here? No. Okay, I need a mirror or something. Two mirrors here. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, this is getting s two more mirrors up here. Man, this game is getting really complex. Alright. And I can't bring my mirror from here to there. Okay. I see how it is. There we go. Let's try to get it right in that line. I don't know why. I feel like that might be something we need to do. I don't know. There we go. So, now we've got a red and a... Man, I'm going to blow something up. Alright, what am I doing here, guys? What I, I feel like what I need to do is, um, I need to hit this red thing here, so I just need a red laser. So let me drop this here. Let me go back around this way. And for right now, let me... Fuck, man, what am I doing? Hmm. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Wait a minute. Boop. There we go. Now this is opening and closing. I still can't kill myself though. Alright, now... What in the hell, man? I need more mirrors. Of course I do. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Shoot that into that. Wait a minute. Drop it, idiot. There we go. Now what's up here? So confused. There's so many, so many things. Hmm. There we go. Now I'll move this through that line and see what we got. Um, oh my god, I'm so confused, guys. Um, hmm. Wow, this is getting pretty good. Oh, 
man. Missing up here. I don't really understand. has to go here. Hmm. Did this reset everything now? It did. Damn it, man. This reset everything. So guys, I think you guys can see, I don't want this to be too long of a video, but I think you guys can see kind of what this game's like. It's already getting very, very complex. I don't know what level I'm on right now. I don't know if I'm still on level one or if this is actually like level four or what. I would love to know that, but this is a really, really cool game. If you like these really casual games that are gonna make you think, and uh, you know, using mirrors to control different color lasers, I can imagine by the time you get to level 50, you're probably going to have like eight different colors of lasers and all kinds of, you know, look at how many mirrors it's already given me. We're going to have all kinds of different, uh, you know, uh, switches, as you would call them here, uh, different colors, and you're probably going to have prisms and all kinds of stuff where you've got to put, you know, three lasers into one and hit a certain different, you know, a switch that has to be hit by three lasers in, you know, combined into one color and all kinds of stuff. I have no idea, but I've played these kind of games in the past, uh, and some of them can get really, really complicated and really, uh, really test your mind, and I feel like this is that kind of a game. For $4.99, guys, this game is a steal under one situation, under the condition that you like these kind of games. If you don't like these kind of games, if you really don't like testing your, you know, your thinking powers and, and trying to figure out all these puzzles, then you're probably not going to like this and this is a waste of five bucks because you're not going to play it. However, there's a lot of people out there that really like these kind of puzzles and really like to think. So if you're really that kind of a, a puzzle game lover, I think this is going to be, you know, right up your alley. So, the, my scoring guys, if you're a person that really likes these kind of puzzles, I think the value is definitely going to be here at five dollars. And it's going to be a 40 out of 40 value. And the fun is also going to be really high. I mean, you're probably going to get like a 27 fun out of this if you like these kind of games. If you don't like these kind of games, the value is going to be like zero for you. And the fun is going to be almost zero as well. Controls and bugs are really good. It's left mouse click and then, you know, WASD or the arrow keys, either one. I don't really see any kind of bugs. It looks like the developer spent a lot of time, you know, ton of time. I'd love to know how many hours he put into not only designing all the levels of this game, but, you know, actually making it work and everything like that. It would be so much time for a $5 game. So I really hope he does well because I can see this developer really put some effort into this game. Uh, you know, I really doubt this is an asset flip. I think the developer probably did make this game. I'd be surprised if we come back later on and find somebody that found out this is an asset flip or something like that. But if we do find something that, you know, like that out, I'll definitely update my review on Steam. Um, controls and bugs, either way, whether you like this game or kind of game or not, it's going to be a 20 out of 20. And graphics and sound, whether you like this kind of game or not, I think the graphics and sound is going to be pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same whether you like this kind of game or not. And I'm going to give it a, uh, for the type of game that it is, I think the graphics are plenty good. I mean, it's not great, but it's not not bad either. I'm going to give it a... Let's just give it the benefit of the doubt and give it a 6. So we got 26 that are... 26 points in my scoring that's going to go either way, whether you like this kind of game or you don't. And if you like this kind of game, I'm going to say you're going to give it a 27 out of 30 and a 40 for fun. 
So if you like these kind of puzzles, you add 40 plus 27, plus the 26 that I gave it for controls and bugs and graphics and sound, you wind up with right on the edge of a Zaxter Indie Gold at a 93%. But it's really going to depend on if you like these kind of games, these casual kind of games. There's no action, there's no dodging bullets, there's no killing zombies, nothing like that. You know, um, so if you really like these puzzle kind of games that you, you know, are going to take a lot of time, take some time, you're going to have to play around with it and figure stuff out. 93% and a Zaxter's any gold recommendation. However, if you don't like these kind of games, then like I said, you're probably going to have we're going to give it five points on a total of value and fun combined. You add that to 26, you're going to wind up with a 31%. So it really depends on how much you like these kind of games. Uh, for somebody that just hates these kind of games, this game is going to be like a 31%, if that. <laughs> and if you really like these kind of games, it could be all the way up to a 93. So this is just really one of those kind of games. It just depends on how much you like these kind of games. But if you do, my strong recommendation and you know right there where it would be a Zaxter's Indie uh, you know gold and because I, I like these kind of games and uh, I think these games can definitely make you think and I think more people need to use their brain uh, I think this is a great deal but uh, again if you don't like these kind of games then you know you're probably gonna hate it it's going to be around a 3 out of 10 to you, and you're going to be like, why would anybody like this? Give me Space Invaders, or give me Call of Duty, or give me anything with action. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this game my Zaxter Indie Gold recommendation. I can see the developer went to a ton of work to make this game. I like it. I'm going to give it my Zaxter Indie Gold at a 93%, but just keep in mind that if you don't like these kind of casual puzzle games, you're probably going to hate it. So this has been Zaxter99. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if you like these kind of games. And if my video here has, you know, influenced you to go out and buy the game yourself, I'd love to know. Put that down in the comments below. This is Zaxter99 with my first Zaxter Indie Gold game of 2019. And again, that's going to, for you, that's going to depend on how much you like these kind of games. Have a great day, everybody. Be sure you comment down below. Be sure you rate my video. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, everybody, take care.